I think smart shopping has a place, um, but I, it's not for me to be the, the specialist here because uh, I've also got some other views about uh, about it in the future. But I'm interested if, if Fred, you can, you, obviously as an ex Googler, you know a lot about this and your business knows a lot about this um, and you're quite an advocate of smart shopping. Um, well, I wouldn't say that exactly. So oh, well, uh, right, right, right. Because I guess we use it, but we don't trust it, right? Yeah. Um, well, smart shopping is interesting. And I think the reason that it kind of puts people off to a degree is that Google shows that it works. Many advertisers, when they use it, the results actually look good, but you have no clarity about why the results look good. And so the fact is that with a smart shopping campaign, Google by default will run it across YouTube, display, remarketing and search. Whereas a regular shopping campaign, you have much more control over that and typically that search and then you can do it with remarketing if you wish, but it becomes a different bucket. So you can sort of see, okay, well, I'm spending this much money in this bucket and this much money on remarketing and this is my end result. Now, the smart shopping campaign puts it all together and the, the results look awesome, but you have no insight into did Google just spend half of my budget on remarketing? And by the way, if they do remarketing, it may not even have been your team that got people to come to the website in the first place um, to get the cookie dropped. It might have been that your organic team did all of that work or your paid social team did all of that work or you just wrote great content, right? That's why people came or you had a news story. Um, and so it's kind of like muddling the waters. And then it also means that you can't really optimize it because you don't know what's working well. So like, what do you do next? Now, there are some techniques to optimize it, for example, running multiple smart shopping campaigns in parallel with each other. So there's many things you can do. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about on PPC Town Hall. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's certainly worth doing an experiment and seeing what the numbers look like. The good news on the pain point that I just put out there, Google has a secret, uh, I think it's like an alpha feature, where they're actually exposing that data that we're missing through the attribution reports. And only a few people are seeing it. Um, you can look for it on Twitter. People are discussing it there, but we're hopeful that that actually rolls out as a full product. And is that a paid for feature or is that uh, going to be free? No, no. I mean, that's part of the Google ads interface, right? So that's just, it is part of your existing reporting. It's just a new dimension that opens up within that. 